I freely admit that I was never a great believer in the stress theory of coronary heart disease, but now in Jack, there is an interesting study concerning post-traumatic stress disorder in twins. What they did was took, take twins from the Vietnam area and studied those that had or did not have the diagnosis of PTSD, and then looked at the incidence of coronary disease. The outcomes were the usual outcomes, myocardial infarction, coronary heart disease, coronary revascularization. It turns out that patients who had the diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder had more than double the incidence of coronary heart disease in their follow-up at almost 23% compared to 9%. So the authors conclude that post-traumatic stress disorder indeed does have some correlation with coronary disease. And I'll have to change my mind, I guess. But you know, as I think about it, there are other things that go along with PTSD that also are the usual risk factors for coronary disease. Hypertension, cigarette smoking, hyperlipidemia, and an increase in inflammatory markers. All of these, of course, can contribute to coronary disease, but PTSD seems associated with that as well. So I'm gonna to have to change my mind and look out for stress in your patients. I'm Peter Block for CardioSource.